Hi guys, it's me Faith and welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a cooking with Faith episode. So yeah, and today we'll be cooking a roast dinner. So yeah, the first step is to make sure you've got a bit of greens because greens is like the most important thing. So yeah, keep you healthy. Make sure you also got a bit of a mane as well, not just like all the other roasting and stuff. So here we've got salmon and a corn fillet because I'm vegetarian. And here we've got some Yorkshires, so yeah, the Yorkshire mix. Here I've got some sweet corn and some peas because, you know, vegetables are very important as well. Here I have some stuffing because stuffing is nice and some potatoes that will be needing to be roasted as well as some meat for my brother and my father. So, yeah. <laughs> We've also got some gravy mix and here's just a bit of an aesthetic thing. Just, you know, always doing it. And giving it a bit more of a mix. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit more later. He's got a thing. After a couple of minutes, putting the veg into the saucepan and putting some stuffing and the roast potatoes. And make sure you also oil all the tins for where your Yorkshire's are going to go into. So, yeah, keep checking the stuffings and turn it up if it needs to be. Make sure you have an adult supervision to do this. The bottom tray will be on 200 for the meat and the top tray for the stuffing and potatoes will be on 200 as well. So yeah. <clears throat> And do not turn on the saucepan for the vegetables, just yet. Make sure you flip over the potatoes and put a bit of seasoning on it, so it just tastes nice. And also, make sure you have enough room to put in your stuffing and your potatoes on each side on the top one. Or it really does depend what type of cooker you have. Just make sure you have enough space for it. Also, you're going to put your tin in there just to kind of warm up the oil. So then when the Yorkshire's go in there, they'll be all nice and ready. So, yeah. And make sure you also make room for that because you've got to put in your corn and your salmon in it. Now you can heat up the vegetables. Also, heat up your vegetables to six. And here I'm just putting in some Yorkshire mix into it. And also make sure you do your drink as I just sure, so, sure, um, showed you guys a little clip of making my drink. I don't know why this reminds me of what, satisfying ASMR. I'm not sure why. I always see these people doing these types of things. And make sure you go over it and refill any of them that are not quite fill up as the others. Just so it's all equal and it just looks better. Because you don't want like one small one and then one huge one. You want them all the same. And after once that's done, you can put them back into the oven. From where they were at the bottom shelf. So yeah. <clears throat> also, remember to set up your table... Just so when you sit down, you've got everything there, such as knives, forks, plate, and camera sauce and mint sauce. And get all the plates ready. It kind of reminds me of a fountain, to be honest, that thingy, the vegetables. <laughs> and the Yorkshires are growing so much. And my dog, of course, getting excited. <laughs> he thinks all the food is for him. He's so funny. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the recipe how to get the most biggest Yorkshire's. My mum's like, oh yeah, 
let's go find um, a nice good recipe for Yorkshire. I was like, no, we need to find a homemade rum. We'll like do it our way. She was like, no, come on, we got to get to get good Yorkshire. She's like, perfect. So I was like, okay. So we found this website and it was okay. It made the Yorkshire like seem really lumpy when we were mixing it. We couldn't really mix it up because it was so lumpy. And I was like, what's going on? I said, I told you. We should have done it homemade. And she was like, oh. but when we put it into the oven, it started getting bigger as you saw the clips. And it's absolutely humongous. And it's got a lot <coughs> more mints in there. So it's going to be huge Yorkshire. So I'm going to just tell you the recipe how to make humongous Yorkshire. So you will need 200 millimetres, oh yeah, um, of like flour. Then put in some milk to make it go all the way up to 400 millimetres. And put in four eggs. We never used to put four eggs. We only used to put like two. I'm not sure. But four eggs. We were like four. So we put in four eggs and there you go guys. That's the recipe we followed, which made the Yorkshire's absolutely humongous. <laughs> Mix the gravy crystal things with some hot boiling water from the kettle to create dun 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 gravy. And also make sure you cut the meat and start dishing up. If you don't know what dishing up means, just get all the food on the plates. And here I am just sitting down. Oh camera drop and I'm literally starving like literally so the meat wasn't cooked properly so it's fine though because it's in the oven for a little bit longer so yeah oh this food is absolutely lovely and I'm just pouring on some more gravy just because I love gravy <laughs> Here's a little bit of a boomerang of me. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching my video of how to make a roast dinner. Although, it's not going to always be perfect. There's always going to be one little thing that's just not going to be right. And today, that thing was meat. And then lesson learned. So, next time, probably next week on a Sunday, when the roast dinner is here again, we'll approve from that. Just like you do at school. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what's your favourite part of a roast dinner. So, Yorkshire's roast potato, roast potatoes, <laughs> sorry guys, or like stuffing or gravy. I love all of those. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.